Hello everyone, this is Cynthia Oconquo here. It's December. Just wanted to sneak in for a couple of minutes and share some information with you. Some information that I think you can use during your upcoming job search during the new, the new year. As you know, I participate in online forums where I um, advise and coach job seekers from all different career fields and industries on um, the ins and outs of job search. So this question came to me, it's a two-part question, came to me recently and I thought that it might be something that most of you may be able to um, relate to and might even still need some guidance on. And it's four steps that I'm offering you for interacting appropriately with recruiters. So since the new year is upon us, um, one of the self-improvement, um, I guess, aspirations of a lot of people is to um, improve their career for the new year. So want to make sure that you know that when you get a recruiter's communication that comes to you online via LinkedIn or any other job search platform that you need to pay close attention to some things. So um, the gentleman's question was whether recruiters reach out to job seekers individually or they or do they just send out bulk emails via LinkedIn and are you required to respond to them when um, you get that reach from a recruiter and so just wanted to offer you a, about four pointers that um, can help you in this area now what I've seen is that recruiters do both they sometimes reach out to individuals individually especially if they feel that they have the majority of the knowledge skills and abilities that are required for a big job that they are trying to fill and also if they're being paid via commission they definitely will reach out to you individually because they want to be the person who has um, identified the candidate that's going to be placed so that they can get paid so there there are both of those ways that recruiters will or reach out to you at times um, but out for these four steps for you to keep your sanity <coughs> excuse me and to um, be able to maintain a good relationship with the online recruiters because most of them are legitimate and believe it or not they may remember your name from one opportunity to the other so first understand that responding to them is not required but it's more of a matter of courtesy so what I recommend um, is that if you have a recruiter to to reach out to you the second tip that I would give to you is to respond only to the ones that are directed to you specifically so if you're currently not in an active job search it wouldn't hurt for you to um, reach out to thank them for thinking about you because let me tell you in the job market things can change at a moment's notice and so if you just reach out to them very quickly and say thank thank you for thinking about me however I'm not currently in an active um, job search then even if they don't respond I think that they will appreciate it and it will keep your name in their mind as well as your specialty area so that if something comes up later or if you decide to reach out to them to say hey you know you reached out to me a few months ago I wasn't in a job search at that time but I am now and I need you to keep me in mind so thirdly if the position that they're rec recruiting you for is not a good fit for you say it's a contract position you're not looking for a contract position if the pay is not enough if the commute for you will be horrible any other factors regarding um, the job then also there's no harm in sending them a quick response to let them know that you're requesting to not be considered further for that position and just let them know very quickly why so that they have an understanding of what your requirements are in your your job search you have standards as well as the employer and then um, definitely fourth and not least um, be cautious 
not paranoid but just be aware because there have been quite a few stories that I've heard on the news lately where people have either been scammed or scammers have attempted to scam them by having them to do things like purchase gift cards and um, with their own money you should never have to do that to to get work or they ask them to pay them for some process you should not have to pay for a pre-employment um, process if there is a background check to be um, run on you as a new as a prospective employee then I would think that what they could do is if they're going to charge it back to you as a new employee that they can deduct it from your first paycheck but be very very careful not to give anyone your social security number your credit card or debit card number your banking information or what have you because there have been people who have unfortunately fallen prey to scammers and ended up being um, robbed of their their money and I mean money is too hard to come by and if you're already looking for a new job then I'm sure you're probably watching how you spend your money anyway and you don't need someone to take advantage of you during a very vulnerable um, time so um, just keep those things in mind career search success go get your new job